Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Day two here in La Cumbrecita. How are you liking it? Loving it here. It's like, just, it's wonderful. I mean, nature escape, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Loving, like, just being out in the forest. Yes. Seeing all the mountains, very by green. the rivers. It's just been incredible so far. And the weather today is very mild. Yeah middle of summer once again and the high is going to be 19 degrees yeah it feels more like spring or autumn like we're both yeah. wearing our light jackets today <laughs> please. <laughs> please i've got a light jacket on but so. you know what it's really perfect for walking around because you don't get tired you don't get hot so today we're going to be doing more hiking yeah we're going to be visiting waterfalls which mm -hmm. is called the la, la cascada la cascada yes and then we're going to a watering hole which is called la oja yes and you told me it's something like a pot a pot yeah. full of water yes la oda it literally means like a pot that you yeah. cook food in because yeah. it's like a round swimming hole yeah exactly so these are probably the two main hikes that, mm -hmm. that are in la cumbrusita yeah and then after that we're going to go for afternoon tea which is called locally yes. in argentina merienda and that's going to be our day so we're hoping to do a lot and yeah let's get let's started, get started. So we are now on our way to the waterfall. It's very busy. There's a lot of people on the trail. But yeah, I mean, it's the middle of summer. It's a weekend. So lots of people on the trail. If you want this place to yourself, I think you need to get started pretty early in the morning. Well, it got hot really, really fast. Now that we're out from the cover of the trees, oh man. Sun oh, is man. hitting us. I'm glad we put on sunscreen because we were thinking, should we today? It, it's it, so cloudy. It, it was so cloudy. Like from the time we woke up, we woke up at like six in the morning, right yeah. until like one p.m. And then that cloud lifted. This is typical mountain weather, though. I mean, it is. You have to prepare for everything and anything. Exactly. So yeah, one thing that I tend to forget about this altitude is that the mornings are always kind of like cloudy, misty. It looks like it's going to be a wet day. But then the sun comes out and takes all of that away. And now, wow, I actually wish I'd put on a bathing suit because I was thinking there is no way I'm swimming today. <laughs> Another thing to mention is that it's really worth wearing some trekking boots, hiking boots along this trail because you have a lot of slippery rocks and like roots and just generally uneven terrain here. Um, so yeah, I wore sandals today because I haven't been doing my laundry and I'm out of socks and I don't like wearing hiking boots with no socks. <laughs> but sandals were not a great idea because it is a bit slippery, so learn from my mistakes. Oh man, so much for the cool temperatures. As soon as we uh, got near the waterfall, I mean, just got blasted with sun. And um, yeah, I'm sweating profusely at the moment. It's a beautiful spot. It'd be great if we had bathing suits. Yeah. And if it weren't so crowded. Yeah, but I mean... Learn, learn from us guys. Come early in the morning or yeah. maybe later in the afternoon. Or in the middle of the week. Just not on the middle weekend of the week. when everyone's not visiting. Not on a Saturday or Sunday in the yeah. middle of the day. But worth visiting. It is a massive waterfall, I would say. It's like really tall. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed getting to see it up close. Ready?
So our second stop of the day was La Oja. Exactly. Yeah. That one was a lot easier to access. It's so much easier, like three so, minutes. Yeah, that one is three <laughs> minutes off of the road, yeah. whereas the the waterfall is like 25 to 30, and you have to scramble over rocks. Yeah. So yeah. You know what was funny? We saw a few people swimming in there, and apparently it's ice cold. Ice I mean, you just cold. you just dipped your your foot into the water. Ice cold, guys. And you you said something. <laughs> you said it was like. Finland, a lake in Finland. In the middle of summer. <laughs> in the middle of summer. Yeah. Which I thought was hilarious. It felt like ice cubes on my body. But yeah. On my foot. Ice cubes on my foot. And if you can't swim like right now, there would be no good time. No, because, because this, this is, is this summer. Is, this is the this is the dead of summer in Argentina. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, the moment Sam and I have been waiting for. It's time for tea and cake. Yes. Um, we have come to Confiteria Lisbeth. They open for just a few hours from 3.30 in the afternoon until 7 p.m. So you've got a small window to get in here and eat their delicious cakes, but they have a massive selection. You can get chocolate cake, walnut cake, lemon pie, apple pie. There's different cheesecakes, there's plum cakes. There's probably like 12 different cakes on their menu. So yeah, we're super happy to be here. We've actually ordered four different cakes so we can really sample their offering. Plus we didn't eat lunch, so I don't feel guilty <laughs> at all about having two slices of cake for my meal. Exactly. So, yeah, it's gonna be a fun afternoon. It sure is. Sam and I take our food very seriously. <laughs> So we're each going to sample the four cakes and rank them and see which one our favorite is. So this one is black forest cake. I love a black forest. This is a chocolate cake with cream, cherries. Mmm, it's delicious. That is really, really good. I love the chocolate, not overly sweet. Really nice cream, a lemon pie. This is another favorite of mine. Mmm, very nice, very nice. Is it tart? A little bit tart, also very sweet. I've had lemon pie with like a whole lot of meringue on top. Yeah. This one isn't that loaded, but it is delicious. Has more lemon. <laughs> more lemon than meringue. This one is the apple. Ooh. Apple pie. Apple pie, oh my. Mmm, that's a little bit tart as well. Okay. I like that. A little bit of icing sugar on top. My friend the dog has reappeared. Oh, he's leaving us. Another then, one you first ordered, the coconut. I also ordered the coconut. I'm such a lucky girl to get to eat all the cakes first. You are lucky. Wow, that one's really nice. It's a little bit moist. I just love coconut. Have you ta had time to think Shredded about it? white coconut. It's so hard to make a decision. <laughs> okay. Rank them. I do love chocolate. I'm gonna go black forest first then coconut then lemon then apple wow but honestly they're all good and poor apple pie <laughs> just it's still delicious <laughs> you'd still come just for that i feel like i need to come back here another time to try the rest of the menu because they have a whole lot of other tarts and pies and cakes this is just a sampling a sampling sam's turn oh my gosh that was so hard to wait Wow. Not delight. Half of the cakes are gone. Let's try them. I nibbled. You nibbled. I think this one, this one was more than a nibble. I the, really like that the, one. This one was a nibble. This one, not so much. Okay. okay. I'm going to do them in the same order that you had. So, Black Forest first. Ooh. Oh, man. You can tell this is dense, thick. And look, there's a big cherry. cherry. Mm. Oh. Wow, the quality really comes through, doesn't it? Oh yeah. The slices aren't huge, but that was really dense. Mm -hmm. Really delicious. I love the cream and the cherry. Yes. It contrasts nicely with the with the chocolate. Moving on. Then lemon, lemon pie. pie. 
Mm. Oh yeah, it really tastes the lemon. First part of the bite, you get the meringue, so you're like, oh, it's actually not that strong. But then once you get to the layer of lemon, it's so good, mm -hmm. so good. Okay, coconut. Coconut. Coconut pie. Mmm. Mm. That one tastes better the more you roll it around in your mouth. Mm -hmm. and, and last, last but, but not, not least, least, the apple pie. Mmm. Huge chunk of apple in there. I love the dusting of icing sugar. It's a really nice apple. All right. Your favorite. It's like picking your favorite kid. My order will be a little bit different. The Black Forest is first. Ooh, wow. Second, though, is apple pie. Wow. Love that. Third is the lemon, and fourth is coconut. Really? Really. That was my number two. Okay. So the only thing that was the same was was uh, was number one. Okay. The Black Forest is just unbelievably good. So if you're if you're coming here to, to order a bunch of cakes like we are, try Black Forest. <laughs> definitely get the Black Forest. Auf Wiedersehen! All right, guys, that was wonderful. I love eating cake anytime I can. And I mean, getting to sample four different slices. It was just delicious. And the price I thought was pretty reasonable too. We paid 500 pesos, which is about 13 US dollars for four slices of cake four coffees and it was just great. It was a beautiful place to sit down and rest after a lot of hiking around town. And yeah, just a lovely setting. So if you're in Cumbrecita, the place is called Confiteria Lisbeth. But remember, they're only open for like three and a half hours in the afternoon from 3.30 to seven. So keep that in mind. Also, they're only open from Thursday to Sunday. So your chances to visit are limited. Sam's laughing in the background. Um, but yeah, come for the cake, stay for the views. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there goes the cat. So we are back at our cottage after a long day of sightseeing. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, that you liked the tour of the town. We had a really fun day walking around and just eating delicious cakes. So now we're going to relax with our friend Meowsies, who just is jumped, making the grill. He just jumped up on this. Because uh, someone must have cooked some delicious meat on there. Look at him. He's Check jumping. him out. Oh. Yeah, wow, this is the guy who comes and watches Netflix with us on yeah, our bed. He does. He's the best. <laughs> we need to give him a name, but we haven't yet figured that out. Yeah, I, I'm sure he has a name. We yeah. just don't know it. So he's Meowsies to us. Yeah. But yes, that's all for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.